It's been way too long since the last SER system test, so I think today we are finally going to do system test 34 in the garage. I've replaced out all the different fire alarm devices with new stuff. Most of it you've never seen before on this channel. So let me show you what we have today. This right here is the Kita FX-64 fire alarm control panel, the heart of the fire alarm system. There is one small change with it, and that is with the wiring, which I will show you a little bit later on in the test. For the pull station, it's the type of pull station where when you pull it, the entire front comes down, such as all these. It is a Kita pull station. Any guesses? It is a Kita FM950-U. Haven't seen a whole lot of these, but yes, when you do pull this, the entire front does come down, which we will be doing later on in the system test. I think we have a guest star on the video here today. A random chicken decided to just walk in. All right. <laughs> All right, for the first alarm today, we have one that's a part of the B4 series. It is, dun da 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 an ADT B3407-024 electronic vibratone. And then on top of it is a B3409-024 strobe. Now why does the alarm, the horn, and the strobe, why do they both have different models? Well that is actually because they, on the back, they are wired in parallel and the strobe, if I did the uh, if I undid the parallel connections and unscrewed the strobe, this strobe could technically run independently. It's not like the Wheelock 7002T that has a parasitic strobe, as seen right here, where both these, both the strobe and the horn are kind of required. Um, the strobe is wired straight into the horn mechanisms, and that is why you hear the strobe skipping on this alarm. Whereas with the ADT alarm today, you will not hear strobe skipping because once again, the strobe is wired independently. I could technically take that strobe off and then rewire it onto a different alarm, such as this right here, which is a Simplex 2901-9806. I could do that, but we're not gonna do that because I like keeping the originality of alarms for the most part. Anyway, for the other alarm on the far side of the garage, it is also a part of the B4 series, and it is also Kita. Any guesses? It is a, dun da da da, it is an FH104 electronic horn. So they are both very similar horns, they're not the same, they both have a slightly different pitch to them, which you will hear today as we're walking around when the alarms are going off. For the change with the panel, the small wiring change. So these alarms are a little bit older and they are vibratones and they do not like full wave rectified power, which is an unfiltered DC power that this panel outputs. So in order to fix that, I have gone ahead and done the hack, which I've done once before. And that was in the test that we tested the Wheelock 7002 T's. Go check that test out if you haven't seen that yet. We have done it one time before, but I'll go ahead and show it to you again. Essentially what I did is I turned the relay into a knack, which this would never be allowed in a real building. However, uh, this is my own personal fire alarm system, so I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do with it. Um, but essentially back here is the relay, and when there's an alarm, the relay flips and instead of the NAC as a power source, it is these 9 volt batteries, which are filtered, which the alarms like. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the power. And now, when the alarms go off today, they will be putting out a nice filtered power, which will make the horns sound a lot more pleasing to the ears. Although, they are going to be very loud because I can't code the relay with what I have right now. So that means they will be running on continuous. So get ready for today's test. It's gonna be loud. All right, we'll hit this pull station and walk around the garage and then we'll hit a smoke detector and walk around outside. Here we go. In three, two, one.
have to do a manual silence there just because it's wired into the relay and then in order to test another device we will have to reset the entire thing but anyway that my friends that is loud of course i do have hearing protection in <laughs> All right, pull stations reset. We'll go ahead and reset the entire fire alarm control panel, which it takes about a minute. All right, let's test out a smoke detector. Oh, we are having trouble locking. Oh, that's why. Classic. Can't forget to put the, uh, the battery back on. There we go. All right, now let's test out a smoke detector. Went back to the collection shelves to get some canned smoke and I realized I forgot an important pole station. I had it out, I just forgot to set it over here. It's the life safety one. This one also pulls all the way down when you pull it. We'll add it right there. There we go, now we're complete with this list of pole stations. At least I'm 99% sure. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and test out a smoke detector. I think we'll test this one up here. I have some canned smoke and we're just gonna spray a bunch of smoke at it. Here we go. It's kind of high up, so gotta spray a little extra. Please work. around to the side where the other horn is. You can kind of hear it out here. The other horn's like right there. Okay. Shall we do a little bit of coating? Here we go. There it is. All right, everyone, we'll go ahead and reset the panel and I think we're gonna call it a system test. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Definitely go check out more system tests and other videos on my channel. If you found any of this interesting, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.